Hi, it's William. Welcome to Flyspoke. Um, in, in my vice, I have uh, what I'm just calling a red isonychia merger. And we had some great success with this fly in the morning, uh, um, yesterday morning, on landlocked salmon uh, here in New England. And usually the, uh, the landlocked salmon uh, come in a little later than this, and for the first bit of, you know, middle of September kind of thing, um, I'm usually fishing swinging flies, but they have been in the river for three weeks already, and they're hitting insects. They're taking uh, flies like this right now in the morning, and then the midday, they'll take nothing but size 22s and 20s, 22s, 24 size midges. So uh, this is a, uh, just calling this, like I say, a, a red isonychia emerger, but it was an uh, unbelievable fly yesterday. It wound up uh, between uh, three of us. It took uh, a, a total of 15 very, very nice and large landlocked salmon. So um, I'm going to show you how to tie this one. So I have a, a standard um, nymph, curved top nymph hook, scud hook. In the vise, you can use them with the straight eye like this, or up eye, down eye, it's perfectly okay. Some Gordon Griffith thread. This is the Gordon Griffith shear in 70 denier. They're uh, red color, it's just the standard red color. Put a little base of thread on. Oh. First thing to tie in is going to be three lemon wood duck barbules. They get a little curve to them. Have them have them sort of face up if you can. Just grab those in, keep them on the top. Alright. Trim off. And this fly is just a red body. And I'm just going to taper my body so it's a little heavier in front. Cover. Cover as best it will. Concentrate a little bit more to the front, just like that. Next thing is to take a small bunch of the lemon wood duck again, and I'm just going to just going to put it on as a wing, and the wing will go back into the area of the tail. Maybe halfway it would be would be fine. Get that on top. Just like that. Well, that could be a fly all in itself. Next, um, I take a pretty small Hungarian partridge feather, take off the down, trim the stem up so that I just have a tie in, just like that. Tie it in with the stem facing forward. Plier. No more than two turns. One is fine. If you want to fill it in a little bit more, but that just that that was one really complete. Grab the end here. Go over it. 
once you've got three wraps on it you can go in and just trim it out cover your head tiny little bit of head cement onto the thread and then the whip finish will draw that head cement right to the head most of the time I don't even use it every now and then one will unravel on me and uh, this fly we called uh, we're calling it an Isonikia soft tackle, a merger. Um, there it is.